This is a follow-up video to the video that I made demonstrating how to make a Google Chrome extension. So in this video I'll demonstrate how you can get it published on the Google's X Chrome extension gallery like this one. So you can have you can put them here, people can search it, and then they can actually download it with a simple one click. And it's actually very, it's very easy to do. So on your desktop you'll find you have, or wherever you download it, if you've not followed the previous video, there's a link on your screen now to actually go to that. By the end of that you'll have your folder with your two files in it. What you need to do is take these two files and make them into a zip file. So if you're just on Windows right click, send to, compress zip folder, it's the easiest way to do it. Then just type a name in, so I'll type in extension. And hit that, and then you've got your zip file. Now, back on the extension page, you now need to go down here to publish your extensions. There's a lot of, I've given you a link as well. And it'll take care of that. It will ask, it'll usually ask you to log in, but I'm already logged in. So you just press add a new item once you're logged in. Okay, and it's uploading as an extension zip file. So that's the file you just created before. So here's the zip file you just saw me create and press open. And it's now going to upload that. So you hit upload, it'll upload. There. And it's going to redirect you through. So you can then put a video, a link to a video if you want, so you can put a video. Um, I'll actually just quickly do that just to, so you can see how that works. I'll just only be a second. Okay, thanks for waiting there. I'll, so now I can put the link to the video in there just to demonstrate. Obviously there's no reason you actually have to do that. I'm just doing this so you can see how it works. Okay, so you select a language, type a description in, so you'd want to obviously type a real description, and you can also put a logo up there. I'm going to type, type in a description describing extension that I'm not going to bother, I'm going to do something. The reason being that I'm not, there's many better Wikipedia extensions, so I'm not going to bother sharing this one, I'll just leave it. So I'll just take it down, this is just to demonstrate how you upload it. So you put that there, you put a link to your website, you can choose if it's not going to be safe, safe for everyone, stuff like that. Add screenshots as well, and all you do is you hit publish, it'll ask you to do that. Click yes, publish extension. And there you go. So now when people search, so now when pe people search for your extension, it'll show you. I'll see if I can find it. I'm not sure if it will be properly in the search results yet, but I'll just quickly check. Actually, that's what I'll do. Um, so people can then search for an extension for you, and they'll find your extension. So I'm going to quickly find mine. I've not got a sort thing, do they? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, most recent. Just so you can quickly see mine. Yeah. No, it's not going to do that. It's going to play up, isn't it? But eventually people will start finding your extension and when they find it they'll get to this page. All that person needs to do then is press install. I'll say, do you want to install it? They press install and there's your extension. And I remember I don't have an icon because I messed up yesterday. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. I'll just take this extension down now because there's no point really. But if you have an extension and you like it, feel free to share it. Um, be good to see more extensions on the Chrome extension gallery. You can make some very useful ones. So thanks for watching. Well, and just by the way, let's just see what you can actually do. This is another extension that I made, which is a simple calculator for Chrome. It does the job, and that's got an icon up there. It's if you want to find it, it's called Chrome Cal. And what I did to make this is instead of in the h in the main .html file, instead of putting the code for the iframe in, I put code, like JavaScript code for a calculator, and that's what pops. So there's no iframe in there. That's I've in there. I've built an HTML file with a calculator in it. I might go into that in a previous in, in a future video. But just thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a making extension. You can also visit my website at CameronGray.me.